back to the BSN channel. Yeah. Today we are making fufu, but the soup we're making today is called Insuomunam Munungkwang, which is fresh fish soup. We've got many different uh, fish, you know, like crab, um, different fishes which I don't know the name, but my mother knows the name. I think it's, we've got kinfish, shrimp. So this is going to be for the fish lovers out there. This is uh, definitely a light soup, but very tasty very tasty so I hope you enjoy let's show the ingredients okay so here are the ingredients we've got two red onions we've got uh, tomato puree are we using one or two one. we're using one tin small tin of tomato puree over here we have some garlic powder so over here is blue crab one scotch bonnet pepper you know my mum is not a pepper fan we've got some nice shrimp I don't know which type of shrimp this King is. Prawns. King prawns. Okay. Uh, over here we've got salmon. Head. So this is the salmon head. Turn it around, please. So as you can see, that's the salmon right there. Fresh. Fresh. And we've got a head of uh, kinfish here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just flip it around, please. Mm, that's what it's looking like. This is a very tasty fish. I'm not gonna lie. This is nice. Obviously, my mom loves salmon. So, what's the first process that we're gonna go through? Steak of salmon as well. We'll go in. Yeah. Oh, so that's steak of salmon. Did you get that chopped at the fishmongers? They normally sell it like that. Oh, so it was already sliced. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get into the first process. I'm pretty sure you're gonna make the base now, isn't it? Yeah, blend the onions. Okay, so you're gonna blend the onions, the pepper, and are you going to put the garlic in? Or are you going to put that with the soup? Okay, so the garlic is going to be put in when we start the soup from the pot. We Are you going to put in the tomato puree with the onions? No. Okay, so that's going to, that's going to go in with the soup. Okay. So I'm guessing you're going to start boiling the fish now, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to start boiling the fish. We'll come back when the base is done. So make sure you get your onion and pepper grinded properly, please. Okay, so this has been boiling for about five minutes now. And it's been warm for about 10 minutes. My mum's now adding how many teaspoons of uh, garlic powder? Two, because I like that. Why, why is garlic? Obviously we know that garlic makes But why do you like garlic? Give it a good flavor. Always, always. You can never go wrong, guys. We do have a kettle that's boiling that's going to add to the volume of the soup. Yeah, but this one will come first. The base. Yeah. What should you say? The onion and the pepper. And, uh, you know, you don't have to use red onions. You know, you can use white onions. It doesn't have to be red. White is better anyway. Nice and sweet. I smell that pepper. Oh yeah, and beware, this is a very stinky soup. Aren't it? So if you don't like the smell of fish, fish then that's you stink. Yeah. To be honest, that's not stink. What is, Michael, my brother's here. Yeah. Confirm, what does Yao think? Stinks. Not really. It stinks. Yeah, some fish really, really stink. This one is very mild. Yeah, it stinks. My brother um, thinks this, it stinks. This, this is the I ones that go in nest. Okay, so this is the beautiful blue crab. So you can see the blue on the leg. Trust me, this is tasty. It was so tasty, I chewed it. Last yeah, time I I'm chewed it. I'm putting it, it in like that. I'm not going to, uh, I mean, break it. And why? Why, why are you going to leave it like that? Um, Any particular reason? So that it becomes just mine. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, well, you can have the crab. Yeah, you just need flavor. Upe or koto. Yay. I never liked them. But this one is totally different from the well, other ones. Were you saying ones. when you were younger you didn't like it? No, no, never. It's not, it's not the type of thing I like. But it, it's got, this one has got a very lovely flavor. It does, yeah, it does. Really. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's not alive, so. Yeah, I know. It's it was like alive. Farm. <laughs> We'd know about it, trust me. It's a long farm. It's like a cutter. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's like a shark. Mouth. 
It's like a crocodile, isn't it? Oh, no, shark. What do you mean crocodile? It's like an alligator. Oh, like right. the ones in Paga. But everybody see things different anyway. You, you, you sat on an alligator in, um, Paga. was it Upper West region? It's Wa Paga. It was near the Burkina Faso border. Yeah, it was Paga. It was, my yeah. mum sat on the tail of an alligator. Right. I this, was not prepared for this. This is the one I'm cleaning now. Oh. With my shrimps, this is how I do it. I take the head and the eye off. Know. Not the whole head. And then I pull the bottom. And why would you want to do that? What was the main reason? Because uh, they tell there's nobody going to eat that shit. So there's no point. I don't go too far because if I do that, then uh, everything is going to be. So this is going to go in a soup. Not yet. What I love about this is when you put this in the soup here, when you, when you chew this here, yeah, the juice of the soup escapes in your mouth. Yeah, my brother doesn't seem too excited, but trust me, it's, <laughs> it's nice. It's a nice, nice flavor, but you might not like the fish itself, isn't it? But, but it's very nice yeah. flavor. That okay, you never good. forget the jumbo seasoning. If you want to go more healthy, you know, you don't want to avoid the monosodium glutamate, okay. yes. use salt. It's very healthy. You don't have to use as much salt as you would use the jumbo seasoning or the Maggie cubes. So it's really, it's really up to you. Either way, the saltiness will bring out the flavor. It's always best to put a little bit of salt first and then ask your cookers on wrong, have a taste, if it's not salty enough, you add more. Better to be safe than sorry, that's what I said. Yeah, I've got garlic salt here, mm -hmm. so definitely I'm putting... Oh, you got garlic salt? Yeah, I put a spoonful. Bring the, Give it a bit of salt. bring the packet to the camera. It's garlic, garlic salt. I didn't know you had that. No, if, I, if, if I knew that, I'd be use it. I would use that for some. Oh, you got it something. yesterday with the fish. Yeah. So what is coming next is the plum tomatoes. Oh yeah, we forgot to introduce that. It's the puree. Oh, you mean the puree, not the plum. No, we're not using them. Okay. Right, so this one is kind of... So she's adding in the period. This one's double concentrate. Yeah. So it's very thick. Because this is not meat. And it's all fish. Yeah. And fish doesn't need to be boiled, 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 boiled. So it's a, just a quick soup that like. can be made in, within an hour. Yeah, I've noticed because, you know, the method you're using is different to, like, a ponjin kakra and, like, other yeah. soups. Mm -hmm. like, you would use uh, chopped tomatoes, you would actually use that with the base. But this time, you've sort of separated it. Yeah, I so don't need to cook it for long. Meaning there's flexible ways of making soups, not just one way of making the base. You can, there's many different ways. So, pulling the shape. Oh, the other way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to put that in the soup by accident. Yeah. It's very it's tough. It's almost, it's almost like plastic. I don't want to say that, but mm -hmm. it has that sort of texture. It's always good to take out. Mm. Okay, so that was mom doing this. We're going we're gonna to come back when um, she's either putting the shrimp in. It's going in straight now. Okay. Okay, so we'll come back when the shrimp is going in. Okay, so now my mom's going to add the shrimp, the steak of salmon, and the kettle of boiling water to add to the volume. So now the shrimp's been added. This is what will bring out that fishy smell, that nice fishy smell. Trust me, I like the shrimp is probably my favorite part of it. Mm -hmm. Now the boiling water has been added to it. So we don't, you know, lower the temperature. So 
so when the water enters the soup, it will start boiling straight away. Oh, not <laughs> Alright, no Nkrumah. Yeah. Oh my god. You should have asked me, I would have thought. Yes, if you do have some okra or what other people might call okra or lady fingers, uh, some Asian people might call it bindi, you can add this to it. Very nice. Okay, so how long is this gonna boil for? This is the this is the main part where about 30 minutes. This, 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 I always look at this like college. This is the studying part. You know? They're yeah. studying for the exam, which is held in my stomach. Okay. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. You you will see, when this is done, it will look so red. Soup here. Oh, look, the crab. It's changed color. <laughs> no more. Let's see the foot. The foot. What's the? The Is legs. It? Yeah, the legs. Ah. Oh. Gee, the tomato's taken over on some colonization. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, God forgive me, but it's it's looking like hell. Even though it's not hell. This is heaven. Heaven in our stomach. Heaven. Mm -mm. This isn't. So how long are you gonna let this go for? This is 30, 30, 30 40 minutes. No, I said 30, 30 minutes. Okay, so that's the standard duration that you let the soup boil for. So we're gonna come back in approximately about 30, 40 minutes, and it should be done. You know, these steps are not hard to follow. It's not as um, complicated as the other soups, the heavy soups. This light soup is it's very easy. It's not, it's not, the, let's say it's not the cheapest, yeah, I'll be honest. But if you do have the money, there's other fish, you know, is there other fishes you could add to this? If you wanted to go a some, bit more. Some people prefer snappers and that, but I chose the fish that hasn't got much bones. Okay. Hardly there's no bones. Alright, yeah, kin kinfish doesn't have a heart, no, no bones. No. Salmon, no bone. Yeah. So this is straight boneless fish, is it? Yeah. Which is, well obviously there was probably a bone in it initially, but they cut it in half and then took the bone out, isn't it? Yeah, so you just, it just had a middle bone, isn't it? That's why when you see the, the fish, it is it is in half. Which one head. is only head of the fish? Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Jack Nicholson and John Travolta in uh, Face Off. What was it, Face Off or something? You know, when it took the exchange faces, it was like that. Anyway, I'll shut up and let this do its job. Peace. Okay, this is how the soup looks like now that it's done. Uh, my mum and my brother has already dished, well actually my mum has already dished out. That's what the soup is looking at. Nice dark red. It's looking good. Very good. Liking this. You can see them spots of oil. Oh, jeez, smells good. Let me show you my plate. This is my plate right here. I'm guessing this is the kinfish. That's the crab. Over here is the shrimp. This is the fufu. Looking at it, it kind of looks like kumkum the you know, fufu. Mm, mm, this is nice. I'm actually gonna, you know, I was actually going out to get some okra and um, let's just say that took a long time, so I'm gonna have to heat this up, put this in the microwave for a minute or two. My mom is already eating away because it's very nice. I can see it, I can hear her just, you know, slurping the soup, sucking the juice out of the, the crab leg. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Some nice. Fresh fish light soup. If you enjoyed the video, please like. If you didn't, feel free to dislike. If you haven't already, please subscribe. No. Good luck to the non-believers. God bless to the believers. Peace.